Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel, Yansa's Universe. It's me, Yansa. This is going to be your singles, all signs reading. Singles, I want to see what's coming up for you in love. Um, singles who may be in separation from someone. And also singles, completely single, no options. Alright, I want to see what's coming up for you in love. So let's jump into it. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, protect me as I go within the tarot. Keep me safe. Please be clear on this message for my singles. No up in that tone just to shall prosper. <sighs> Return to Canada and all negativity. Protect me, protect the viewers, protect the messages. Ancestors, please orchestrate this reading. Keep me safe. Thank you so much. Thank you for your love and your support. Ashe. Thank you, universe. Okay, so this is going to be in all signs, all the way from Aries to Pisces. Singles reading. You guys, please remember, flip up the rose, reverse them. Remember, this is general. And remember, you're single. So these will be predictions. They could have already happened. Could be happening now. Could happen in the near future. And it's tarot. So not every card, not every message, not every storyline will resonate. You guys, please check out your April monthlies. Please check out your April monthlies, okay? I want the monthlies, y'all. For some reason, I'm not getting a lot of views on the monthly, so y'all please check those out. Just like how y'all check out all of the All Signs readings. And I have a couple of All Signs readings already for you guys. Your weeklies will be by Element as well. You can like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, leave me a love donation. I'm not working currently, so um, your donations and taking personal readings with me definitely help. So I appreciate everyone who has got a personal reading and has donated. Let's jump into it. All right. I'm going to get the current energy. See what's going on in your environment. See what is coming up for you guys in love. Let me get these messages shuffled. Get these cards shuffled. And we'll jump into it. Okay. I want to thank everyone as well for... Um, thank you so much for being with me on this journey. Our channel is really growing. We're already up to 1.3K subscribers, and it's all thanks to you guys. So thank you so much. Live personal readings are going to, um, we're going to start doing live personal readings as well, going live for you guys a lot more often. But you guys got to let me know what you like. I'm going to do a poll to see which signs are getting the most views, and I'll probably just focus mainly on them, okay? And we'll go from there. Alright. Now that we've got the intros out the way, let's start with Aries. Alright. So Aries, what's happening for you in love? What's going on currently? Health. You're focusing on your health. Maybe the person coming into your life, your partner. This could be a friend, a lover, boyfriend, girlfriend coming into your life. They're worried about their health or they're focusing on their health. This is how you'll know who they are. They like to eat right. They look very healthy. They eat a lot of greens as well, a lot of vegetables, a lot of greens, and they work out. It says, I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Okay, Aries. All right. What's coming in for Aries singles? What's coming in for Aries singles? Release your ex and let go of control issues. So if your ex is coming back, spirit just wants to like confirm that you're completely done with this person. Spirit wants to confirm like Aries, are you done or are you done done? Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. This could be releasing old friends, old habits, old ways of thinking, whatever has been affecting your health as well. Release it. Release your ex because it's not serving you. Whether it's a person, place, thing, situation, or way of thinking. All right. And then it says, let go. I'm sorry. It says getting to know each other. Where the hell did I get let go of control issues? Let that go too. But this is getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So once you release your ex, you'll be able to get to know this new person. The reason why you may not have met anybody yet is because this person is um, filling up your energy. You don't have enough room for a new person to come in because it's already filled. You got to release that so new energy can come in. 
and get to know this person. All right. So this is what's coming in for you guys. This looks very beautiful. All right. Focusing on your health. Releasing your ex and you're getting to know this new person or you will. This is what's coming in for you. Okay. Me more what's coming in for my Aries single? Aries. We got the death card. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. A lot of change is coming in, especially releasing this ex. You've been stuck on them. Eight of Swords. I don't know why this person is crowding your reading, but damn, here they go. See, we can't even pull new energy because old energy is, is so predominant in what's going on. Give me new energy for my Aries singles. Could be dealing with the Pisces. We have the Hangman, more stuck energy. With the seven of swords, this could be lying to yourself, people lying to you. You could be doing some things that are not um, healthy with the seven of swords. It could be lying, cheating, gambling, avoiding, not telling the truth, okay? The seven of swords could be a self-sabotage type of energy. You want new love to come in, but I feel like you may want both, your ex and a new person. I'm just going to fuck with my old person until somebody else comes along. But this old person is like crowding you, crowding your energy, crowding your space. It's hard for you to bring somebody new in when they're like, I'm telling you, there's not enough room for more. You got to let some things go. And it don't even just have to be a person. Maybe you're a hoarder. Maybe you might need to throw some old clothes away, throw some stuff away out your closet, your kitchen. Maybe you're moving as well. So release all of that old stuff so you can move. Don't take all of that old stuff with you to your new place or in your new relationship. Okay. We have the lovers. Could be dealing with a Gemini. Then we have the nine of cups. I do see you. You want a connection. Of course you do. Singles. Shit, we all do. Hmm. Clarify death. What is it that you might need to let go of? Clarify death. Three of swords, the third party. Release the ex. Release the old energy. Release the heartache and pain. Gotta heal. You got to. Could be done with a Scorpio or a Pisces, Gemini or an Aquarius. Clarify the hangman. What's the hold up? Clarify the hangman. Ten of cups. You might have a family with this person. You probably live with this person or you've seen the long term with this person. That's what's holding you up. You're still holding out on faith with whatever this old thing is. And that's fine. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Clarify the Ten of Cups for Aries. The Three of Wands, but it's a lot of waiting. Turn your back. Live your life. If it's meant to be, it'll be. Even if you let this person go just for a season, they might come back. You never know if you don't let it go. All right, clarify the Seven of Swords. The Knight of Swords. Okay, a lot of lying. Swords could represent communication. So it's, you're lying to yourself. You're deceiving yourself. Clarify the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Swords. Um, this could be irrational energy as well. Four of Swords. This is Aries. You, are you dealing with an air sign? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Seven of Swords, Knight of Swords, Four of Swords. And then we have the Three of Swords as well. So I'm seeing that somebody just won't let this go. You're avoiding letting it go. You feel like the end is near, but you're avoiding the end. Clarify the Lovers and the Nine of Cups. The Four of Wands. Oh, I like that. Aries. And then the Six of Swords. Aries, gone. Two of Cups. This new love is coming in. Spirit don't care. 
Spirit don't care. The, uh, what is this? The world card. Spirit don't care. They said the, the past is done when it's over with. Six of Cups. It's over with. It's just a distant memory now. Spirit said they don't care. You've been wanting this relationship. Here it comes with the world card. All right. World is going to be a complete 360 complete change. But I think Spirit is trying to get you prepared for this ending so it don't hurt you. This ending, letting this go, is not supposed to hurt you. But if you keep holding on to it, spirit is going to step in and do it themselves. So you avoiding this may not be the best thing for you, okay? So go ahead and release it. It's the healthy option. Get to know this new person. Get to know yourself and ask spirit, okay, what do you? what's going on in my life? They want to bring you newness with the Ace of Pentacles. So singles, I do see a Gemini. Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, or Leo coming into your life. This is a new person with the Ace of Pentacles. This is a new romance with the world card. They can uh, live in a different city, different state, different country than you. They can be a different religion, different race than you. Here's the Two of Cups. You will be in a relationship with this person. They will like you just as much as you like them. But that means as much effort you put in is as much effort they'll put in with just getting to know each other. If you're not trying to get to know them, they're not trying to get to know you either. Okay? We got the Six of Swords and the Four of Wands. Y'all will be bumping uglies. Y'all have the potential to actually have this being a long-lasting relationship with the Four of Wands and the Six of Swords. Um, I hear, I didn't think that I would be able to feel this way about anyone else. So, yes, you will be able to feel that way again. Okay. All right, Aries. Beautiful. That's all I have for you, Aries. Don't forget to check out your April monthlies and check out all of the All Signs readings, okay? Taurus, damn. Taurus. What's the current energy? What's going on in your environment? What is the current energy surrounding you, Taurus? Taurus. Taurus. What's the current energy surrounding my Taurus singles? Yes. Okay. Grief. And you don't want to surrender it. Surrender that grief. Taurus. What is this? Sacral chakra? Orange? Or is that the solar plexus? One of them. Do both. Okay. I understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So did you lose your virginity? Do you feel like you may have lost your dignity? I feel like somebody would um Taurus. So I'm getting a sense of, and this has happened to so many people, especially all my women. Um, you know when you like somebody, you do certain things that you would never do for them. You'll do it for them. Things that you said that you would never do because you have too much dignity, too much pride, too much self-love. But somehow, because your feelings for this person, you like this person, maybe you thought this would um, show this person that you were fun, show this person that you could have a good time, you know, try to get this person's attention. It ended up, it it winded up um, lowering your self-esteem. It winded up um, making you have self-doubt. You lost your self-confidence. Maybe you're grieving the loss of your dignity, the loss of your pride, or maybe just grieving the loss of a relationship, the loss of a person, place, thing, situation. The current energy surrounding you, Taurus, you have to understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it. So if they lost you, they need to learn how to appreciate you. If they would have appreciated you in the first place, they wouldn't have lost you, okay? 
great. All right, so what's coming in for Taurus? What's coming in for my single Taurus? Your birthday is coming up too. I'm excited. We have engagement, make the effort, and new love. This new love will make the effort. And you two will be dating. You two will be boyfriend and girlfriend. You two will move in together. You two have the possibility to get married, move into a higher level of commitment, actually be engaged. Um, I'm also getting a new job as well. This is a new career adventure too. You'll like this job. You'll actually flourish in this job. Um, you'll be here for a while. You could possibly make a career out of this job too. So as much effort you put in, they will give back to you. They, you're, you're being valued here, Taurus. That's what I see. So you have new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. They will be making the effort because great love is worth taking the steps you're guided to take. And this can lead to an engagement. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So you're being more committed at your new job or your new home with your new family, with your new child or new children, your new relationship. All right, what's coming in for Taurus? Taurus singles. You, the Hierophant, engagement, a higher level of commitment. The Hierophant, Taurus or Libra, traditions, values. You're really learning how to appreciate yourself. You're coming with you yourself coming out. Four of Wands, here's that relationship. You could be moving into a new home, a new position at work. Six of Swords, more travel. Things are being made easier for you as well. You have a new lease on life. So I get that maybe if you did lose something, you're getting another chance again. Yeah, with the Seven of Cups, another option, another chance. And then with the Sun, you can be done with the Leo. And here's Big Daddy right here, the Emperor. Aries. There's Big Daddy. Okay, I like it. Clarify the um, Hierophant for Taurus. Temperance, just be patient. Here it's, it's coming. It's coming. It is. Oh, you got a lot coming out. We got the Five of Pentacles. If you are feeling left out, not feeling loved or appreciated in grief, the wheel is turning. Good luck, good fortune, good favor. With the Four of Pentacles and the Two of Cups, we are just saying, hold on to this. This hold on to it. This go round. Maybe hold on to your hold on to your panties. Don't jump in the bed with them. Hold on to your dignity. Don't um, do things out of, oh, I like him, so I'll do it. Or, oh, I like her, so I'll do it. Don't do that no more. You don't have to with love. Because people will, if they love you, they shouldn't make you compromise your dignity and your self-worth and stuff like that. I feel like you're getting another opportunity to um, keep your dignity and self-worth and try love a new way. Because... Losing your dignity and your pride and your self-worth, that, that, that wasn't love you were supposed to be receiving. Okay? You're building your confidence as well. I cannot pick this card up. You're building your confidence as well. Clarify the four of wands. The three of swords. Gotta heal from this broken heart. Clarify the three of swords and the four of wands. You could have lost the home. The hermit, Virgo. Could it be dealing with a Virgo? Somebody could have ghosted you. Okay. Somebody could have even stole from you. Clarify the six of swords. <clears throat> the ten of swords. Oh, there was a betrayal here. It was. I'm seeing like... If there's somebody who tries to come back, you're going to already be gone. You're going to already have moved. So the ghoster is actually getting ghosted and you didn't even know you ghosted them. You've just continued to live your life. Clarify the Ten of Swords and the Six of Swords. You can be dealing with the Taurus, Libra, Sagittarius, Virgo, Leo, Pisces, Aries. There's Big Daddy right there. Clarify the Emperor. Who is the Emperor? What's the Emperor doing? 
seven of pentacles wanting to grow with you i see a lot of sevens seven of pentacles seven of cups seven of wands right here seven 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 weeks seven months seven days who is seven who is seven gemini cancer yeah could be a gemini or a cancer clarify the seven of cups three of pentacles clarify the seven of cups and the three of pentacles more options the ace of cups i see you dating first spirit wants you to date first king of cups so don't worry about oh uh picking out one person from the crowd have some fun date first so you may have lost your best years fucking with one person go out and date okay i understand that losing something is an opportunity to appreciate it maybe you didn't appreciate your younger years or your young days or you know your body you know your when you're young your body can do all types of shit but when you hit 30 and up your body don't do the same that it used to okay we got the ten of cups i'm sorry that's the ten of pentacles with the ten of wands a lot of um duality we see ten ten and seven 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 Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Wands, Ten of Swords. Three tens, endings. It's a new beginning coming. We got the Seven of Pentacles, Seven of Cups, and then we saw the Seven of Wands as well. Ten, 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 seven, seven, seven. seven. Spirit wants you to date and have some fun. You have the Ace of Cups. So we have the Ace of Cups and the Two of Cups. So I feel like with engagement, this is more than likely possible. Then we got the four of wands right here with the marriage card, the hairpin. Get out there and go have some fun. Let your will turn. Life is starting to be oh so much more fun and so much better. So appreciate the good things in life as well. We Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, the Four of Wands marriage card, the Hierophant, the marriage card. Here's, here's the baby, the new love, the relationship, the house, the um, commitment. There it, there it all is right there. Okay, singles. So cheer up. Go have some fun. Spirit said go have some fun. Get out of that house. All right. Gemini. What's the current energy surrounding Gemini? What's the current energy surrounding Gemini? Indecision. You have not been able to make up your mind. You're stuck in your head. The crown chakra. Use your intuition in all aspects of your life. So you're thinking too long about it. Your mind could be playing tricks on you. You're stuck in your head about a person, place, thing, or situation. You're overthinking, overanalyzing a situation. Just go for it. Use your intuition. Just go for it, Gemini. What's coming in for my Geminis? Trust your gut. Trust your gut feeling about the feeling that you're getting about this person, place, thing, or situation. Listen to it. What's coming in for Gemini? Flirt. Yes, they are flirting with you. Yes, spirit wants you to make finally make up your mind to go flirt with them. Yes, very soon. Clearly decide what you want. And here's indecision right here. Clearly decide what you want. Make that decision. And so that it comes to you now. Go flirt with them. Go flirt with them. You too busy holding on to your ex. You trying to be faithful to your ex. Talking about you're not going to flirt with them because it's because you don't want to cheat on them. Fuck them. You're not cheating on them. Go have you flirting right now. Ain't it summertime? Okay, whatever. Do what you want to do. But uh, <laughs> what's coming in for my wonderful, beautiful, awesome 
single Gemini's. So I'm seeing you already have somebody in mind, Gemini. You just ain't made up your mind. You haven't made up your mind about it. Go flirt. Have some fun. What's coming in for Gemini? Two aces. The ace of cups and the ace of swords. Flirt. Ace of cups. Ace of swords. Very soon. Clearly decide what you want. Make up your mind. This is beautiful. Here's the love. Here's the communication. Two aces. Here's the new person. Here's new bae right here. New bae is already right here under your nose. Tell me more about Gemini's new bae. Gemini ain't even finna be single no more. You're not finna be single too much longer. Cancer energy with the chariot. Here, here comes new bae right here. New bae could be coming in from out of town. New Bay could be sexy as fuck with the Queen of Wands. You see how sexy she is? He mesmerized. You could be dealing with the Cancer, Aries, Sagittarius, or a Leo. Clarify the Ace of Cups for Gemini. Clarify the Ace of Cups. The World Card. Here comes New Bay, like I said. <sighs> you could be dealing with an Aquarius. Taurus, Scorpio, Leo. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Gemini. The Four of Swords. You ain't made up your mind yet. You still thinking about it. Still thinking. Still thinking. Still thinking. <sighs> still thinking. Strength and the Moon. Why are you? Clarify the Chariot. It could be a Cancer. Or you could be Gemini, Cancer, Cuss. Clarify the Chariot for Gemini. The fool. You gonna take that leap of faith? I see this person um with the star. It's an Aquarius, Aries, Pisces. I was thinking Pisces too. Here this person is. That is too much fun, too much love, too much laughter for you not to uh, fall for this person. You don't want to fall. That's why you're so indecisive. You don't want to flirt because you, you will start liking them. You will. Clarify the queen of wands. Clarify the Queen of Wands. How could you not like them? Look at how sexy they are. <sighs> you just want to bite them. Seven of Cups. You want to be you want to be drunk in love with them, but you're too scared to fall. The Empress. You've already fell in love. Is what you you know that you already in love with them. Ace of Cups. Ace of Swords. You're already in love with them. All right. We got the will and we got the three of cups. If y'all have had sex already, you have feelings for them. And that's why—that's the main reason why you're trying to hold back. If y'all already had sex, you're trying to keep your composure and keep it together. Boy, make up your mind. Girl, make up your mind. All right? I like this. I feel like that's how this person talks to you, too. You need to make up your mind. All right? I feel like this... Um, Y'all were friends at first, and y'all became lovers, and y'all in a relationship now. If not, y'all were friends at first, and you, you fell in love with your friend. All right, Cancer. you see believing what you hear not believing what you see not believing what you hear purple represents the crown chakra your intuition are you doubting what you what it is that's right in front of your eyes what it is that you're seeing are you doubting your downloads Honesty, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself. Expecting the truth from yourself. But I keep hearing, where did I go wrong? Where did I go wrong? 
Why do you think you went wrong somewhere? Okay. Current energy surrounding you, you're being honest with yourself this time. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna trick myself. I'm not gonna let them trick me. What's coming in for cancer? What's coming in for my cancers? Cancer, check out your April monthlies and check out all of the other on signs readings as well. What's coming in for cancer? Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you, okay? So this is why I'm like, are you not believing what you're seeing? The red flags, you're seeing them. Maybe you are finally being honest with yourself and saying, I did see the red flags back then, but I didn't do anything about it. So this go round, you're gonna be honest with yourself this go round, okay? Give your relationship a chance. There's something coming in that is good for you. Give it a chance. You'll know who it is. This person is very playful. You both are very playful with each other. You see how she's holding him? He's in her arms here. They're holding each other. They're in each other's arms. This is somebody you like to be cuddled up with, lovey-dovey. Um, you know, just in each other's arms, in each other's embrace. Okay, let's come in for cancer. Mm-hmm. The lovers. A passionate connection. Could be a Gemini. Three of Cups. Y'all y'all gonna be touching on each other. That's all I see. Y'all gonna be touching. <laughs> y'all gonna be touching on each other. All right. What's coming in for cancer? Y'all are very affectionate too, though. Y'all gonna always find a way to touch on each other. You see how they touching each other's leg? Ace of Cups right here. There's that new love. You could be dealing with the Gemini. That's the only major that came out. Or a Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Clarify the lovers. Are y'all listening to Tina Marie? Uh, the Hermit could be dealing with the Virgo. Yeah, Gemini and Virgo are both ruled by the same planet. What is that? Mercury? Mercury? I don't fucking know. Sorry, y'all. Clarify the hermit and the lovers. We got the star and the king of pentacles. So this person, they are usually not the lovey-dovey type. They're not. But for some reason, you bring it out of this person. That's how you know who they are. They're kind of awkward and kind of shy with the hermit. They're not like super open and touchy-feely and lovey-dovey. But for some reason, they are with you. Or vice versa. For some reason, you are with them. Y'all gonna be touching, okay, with the sun card. This Y'all, don't resist it. I don't know why I have to keep saying it. Y'all gonna be touching. I guess I have to get you ready for this. Like, <laughs> I'm not gonna be there. <laughs> Can't say, I'm not gonna be there. You gotta get ready on your own. <laughs> Clarify the three of cups in the sun. The Knight of Swords, y'all kinky too. Y'all real kinky. I like this person. They'll take their time with you, but they a freak, okay? And that's exactly what you need. I like this person because they're very, um, I hear they're very down to earth as well. This ain't that, this is a cool ass dude or a very cool ass woman. They're an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. I'm hearing Capricorn is, I'm majority Capricorn. Could be a Virgo though. This person is too is like too cool to um, be touchy feely and all of that extra stuff. But with but with you, y'all gonna be touching and feeling and kissing and a lot of PDA. I feel like maybe that's what you've been missing, Cancer. You've been missing the public display of affection. Okay, with this honesty, you're gonna be honest with yourself. What is it that you need this time? What is it that you want this time out of the out of a relationship? I hear you're gonna get what you want. But you have to say it. The Knight of Swords. You have to say it. So if you want that freaky shit, you have to say it. If you want that kinky shit, if you want that domination, that BDSM, you have to just say it. Okay? Your wish is my command. That's what I heard. Clarify the Two of Wands for Cancer. The Magician could be dealing with the Gemini. We have the Lovers as well. So 
And then we have the Six of Cups. This could be your soulmate. Someone that you will create memories with. Give this a chance. Clarify the Ace of Cups. Six of Wands, victory and success. I hear lover boy. That's what I hear. You probably know this person and you didn't like them because you thought they were a sissy. You thought they were too feminine. This is a lover boy and that's what you need, Cancer. All right. Here's the Ace of Wands. They gonna, they gonna get you right. Okay. The Ace of Wands, they will get you right. Don't play with them. They said put some respect on it, Cancer. All right, you can be dealing with the Gemini, Virgo, Leo, Aquarius. You can be dealing with anybody. Come on, Leo. All right, come on, Leo. What's the current energy surrounding Leo? What's the current energy surrounding Leo? Judgment. Okay, you are making some big decisions in your life. Maybe you guys are wrapping up some things. You're moving. You're getting a new car. You're deciding, you know what? I'm not going to let this stress me out. Um, just a lot of decisions. Using your better judgment. A lot of downloads. A lot of mental... Um, stimulation i understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges and you're not going to worry about other people and what they decide to do with their life you're not worried about um what other people are doing with their time with their life with their money with their kids you're not worried about that other you know you understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges you understand you have your own unique path, Leo. Leo, you're like, I'm not, I can't really worry about other people's path. I'm trying to figure my own path out. I have my own path to walk. Okay. Especially when it's dealing with lovers and people and um, relationships and friends, things like that. Hmm. You just don't want to worry about it anymore. Is, and you're not going to be mad at people for being themselves, you know, because you know how you, you have your own and you have your own vision of who you want people to be or who you expect people to be or even just who I thought you were this way and they're not. They're a completely different way from what you want, what you thought and who you perceive them to be. You're, you're not worried about that shit either. You're not upset about that either. Do you? Okay. Judgment. I understand that everyone has their own unique path and challenges. What's coming in for Leo? What's coming in for Leo? What's coming in for Leo? You are calling in your soulmate, you're praying, you're doing your affirmations, you're doing your visualizations, your mantras, all of that, you're manifesting. Because that's going to bring you two together. Your prayers, affirmations, visualizations help bring you together. That's what's going to help you during this time. Express your love. Someone is expressing their love to you. You're expressing your love to someone. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. Someone's going to be making a romantic gesture. This person you're calling in. Maybe you've been wanting people to make romantic gestures to you. And you're realizing people have their own different love language with this judgment. You're not... You're not fucked up about it. It's just you got to find who works for you. Okay? And you're calling them in. All right. Leo. It's coming in for Leo. Beautiful. The Queen of Pentacles. Stability. This is you, Leo. Your energy. Beautiful. Hold on. It's the Pentacles. This is the Queen of Cups. I'm sorry. I'm glad I looked at this. They was like, that is not the Queen of Pentacles, girl. But <laughs> it's the Queen of Cups. You could be dealing with the Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, or have that in your chart. 
We have the lovers at the bottom of the deck here as well. Look at that. We have the eight of wands. Communication, travel. Here's that love expression. All right. The death card could be dealing with the Scorpio. Endings, transformation. And we have the queen of swords. Here's that expression of love with the queen of cups too. I'm wondering what the queen of swords is here for. Maybe you, um, there's one, something that you may not be super open to, Leo. Let's see what it is. Clarify the queen of cups. Clarify the queen of cups for Leo. The nine of wands and the five of cups. This, this is holding love back. Um, nine of wands he got his hand over her mouth like hold on hold back don't say too much just let me talk first so maybe somebody's um hmm. this new relationship is a new opportunity for you to um, do things a different way Leo maybe you are a little too aggressive in the past maybe you weren't so expressive in the past maybe you weren't able to articulate and express your feelings and emotions the right way to where they were being understood here's a new opportunity for that to happen with the five of cups maybe i'm getting an energy of leo don't fall into needing someone to love you don't need to love someone leos have a need to love you don't need that shit, okay so this is a good time to really work on self-love because sometimes a lot of people just want someone to love or want something to love. And that's why a lot of times um, people have kids. I'm not talking shit. It happens. I've seen it happen. Okay. I'm just speaking from experience. I'm not coming for anybody. Children are blessings. But this is why a lot of times... Um, People have kids to fill some type of void, okay? So this is just spirit highlighting the fact that um, if you do have a need to love someone, you might, this is just like putting that mirror up to that, seeing how you might can heal and do whatever you need to do, Leo. Okay, clarify the lovers. Now I'm hearing that Justin Bieber song. I need somebody to I need somebody to love. Okay, this is the tower card. You can be dealing with the Scorpio. Here this person comes like, hmm, I like them. Clarify the tower and the lovers. It's like, boom, you're in a relationship. Yeah, judgment. Judgment has came out twice. This is the second time judgment came out. But you're making the conscious decision to do it. Here's the king of swords. So we have the pair, the king and the queen of swords. So I feel like you and this person... Both of you are kind of closed off. Both of you, you could be dealing with another Leo. Both of you are kind of closed off. Both of you kind of have your own um, sense of what love is, what you want to be loved like, how you love. So you both are calling each other in and both both of you need to be expressing your love to each other. Because if, if one of you doesn't do it, the other ain't going to do it either. All right? You could be dealing with an Aries. All right, clarify the Eight of Wands for Leo. The Ten of Wands. Putting in a lot of work, effort, time, and attention. You can be dealing with the Virgo. Someone who, who could be shy. Two shy people ain't gonna, ain't gonna get along. Who gonna bust the move first? Clarify the Ten of Wands and the Eight of Wands. Six of Pentacles, you both got to make it work. Three of Cups, you both got to make it work. Both of you. Clarify death. Page of Wands, here's that communication right there. I feel like here's an icebreaker. Somebody needs to do an icebreaker, Leo. Just do it. Just do the icebreaker. Because both of y'all just sitting here just... Kind of, pay, kind of not paying each other no attention, but wanting wanting each other to say something, just do an icebreaker, Leo. 
Damn. You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini. But mainly Scorpio has come. Maybe mainly Scorpio has came out. Sorry. I see a lot of communication. You will enjoy talking to this person with the Eight of Wands. But just um, when one person talks, don't let them, don't leave them hanging. Don't leave them hanging. Also, you both like, um, would like for each other to listen as well. So talk to each other, listen to each other. Virgo. What's the current energy surrounding Virgo? So we have health coming out. This was the card for Aries. So you're focusing on your health. You're eating right, eating a lot of greens, a lot of veggies. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So you're honoring your mind, body, and spirit. And it's boosting your self-esteem. You're losing weight. You look good. You feel good inside and out. I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So you're... um. Loving yourself in a healthy way. Green can represent the heart chakra. So you're working on your heart chakra and also your uh, solar plexus. Your identity. Your heart and your identity. Your self-worth. Okay. That's beautiful energy. It feels very loving and very warm. All right. Virgos call themselves to be very loving anyway. No matter how stuck in your head y'all may get. I, I like Virgos. Um, what's coming in for Virgo? What's coming in for Virgo? Deception. Okay, somebody is not being their true self. So maybe you, in the past you weren't honoring your physical vessel. Maybe in the past you weren't eating right. You weren't um, doing your hygiene and your care. You weren't sleeping right. You know, you weren't getting enough sleep. You were just binge eating, binge staying up, binge watching TV and all this extra stuff. And it messed up your health and ultimately maybe messed up your self-esteem because maybe you didn't feel good enough to do good things for yourself maybe this you've experienced people like that but virgo honor your physical vessel eat right get enough sleep drink enough water work on your heart chakra as well and then with the self-esteem uh false self mask this is about self okay Ooh, what's coming in for you, Virgo? That came right out. Y'all seen that shit. Reconciliation and honeymoon. Here it is. So maybe you're lying to yourself. I don't want to get back with them. I don't want to be with them. And yeah, you do. Here it is. Right back at you. Right back at you, Virgo. Okay. <laughs> Someone from your past is returning to your life. This don't have to be an ex. This could be an old friend. Someone you never got a chance to actually date. It was never the right time or maybe when you two met each other you were with someone or they were with someone i hear that song by bruno mars talking to the moon okay see so if we're dealing with the cancer or pisces all right we do have honey moon the moon is here enjoy the bliss of holiday time together so you want to reconcile with someone and enjoy your time with them Maybe you were always working. Maybe you were always busy. Maybe they were always busy. And you didn't get a chance to give your all to them. All of your time. All of your love, attention, affection. Okay. Separation. If someone you're in separation from, here they come. Here they come. Or here you come back, Virgo. 
All right, let me see what this is. What's going on from Virgo? Maybe in the past you didn't feel, um, maybe you were too insecure to be with this person because you thought they were out of your league or something like that. What's going on for my Virgo? The Knight of Wands, here you come, quick, fast, in a hurry. We have the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Swords, two queens. So maybe you did have to choose between two people, two jobs, a career with the Queen of Pentacles, or probably ending something. We have the Ten of Swords. I'm getting, I was getting ending anyway before I even looked at the bottom of the deck. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Virgo. Could be Sagittarius energy. Were you the fuck boy, Virgo? You were. Here's your card, the Hermit. It was you. <laughs> Clarify the Knight of Wands and the Hermit. Page of Wands. Oh, here comes that message. Here they come. And it's like, after not seeing this person for so long, it's like y'all, the love just ignites right here. Queen of Cups. So we already have three queens that came out. Y'all still love each other. Y'all still recognize each other. Y'all might pick back up where y'all left off. Clarify the um, Queen of Pentacles. Seven of Wands. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles and the Seven of Wands. The World Card. You're dating, Virgo. You are dating. You're dating around. It's three queens. You are dating, Virgo. Don't lie. There's nothing wrong with that. And you're a serial dater with the world card. Clarify the queen of swords. Let me get a story of what the hell is going on. Ace of Pentacles. You will meet someone. You will. I feel like you've been in some weird like loop of people. You've been recycling people, recycling. If it's not the same couple of people you've been dating around and recycling it's the same energy you just been stuck in the same energy pool of people and it's like will i ever find someone new or someone different or someone that i that person that i want to reconcile with the honest the honest truth that you may have been lying to yourself about is you want that person you won't be satisfied till you get them or someone like them but even if you do find someone like them they're not them Clarify the Queen of Swords and the um, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you won't be satisfied. The devil. Could be done with the Capricorn. You got Capricorn in your chart. It's some type of weird, vicious cycle of getting with people and then you know, creating a new beginning with them with the Ace of Pentacles and then it ending like terribly with the Three of Swords and the Death card. Then the Eight of Swords and Nine of Swords. Ending terribly, Virgo. Like, what the fuck? And then the Four of Swords. Woo! Here's that fourth queen right there, the Queen of Wands. But I feel like the Queen of Wands is the only queen that has not came out the deck on the table. So it's this fire sign, this Aries Leo or Sag that you missing. That you can't get a hold of. Clarify the devil. The Three of Wands. So you've invested a lot of time and... Some toxic shit, Virgo. I'm just saying. You've been waiting for a long time as well. So I feel like you decided to just put yourself on autopilot with these people. If you've been dating around, you know, just fucking around and shit like that. You put yourself on autopilot until finally the right time came through at once. You've been waiting for your ships to come in. All right, I'm just going to go to work and focus on myself and put myself on autopilot. But there's no real emotional fulfillment. The Queen of Cups is here. But you're still, this is you. The Hermit is here. This is just you to yourself. Clarify the Ten of Swords. The Three of Swords still came out. The Hurt, Heartache, Pain, all of that. And then the Death card, the ending. The Painful Ending, like I said. So you're still stuck on that. That shit is on repeat. Here's the Empress. So this empress that you want, 
We got the Emperor, Page of Swords, Page of Pentacles. You can have children with them, two children with them. You want to have kids with them. He's the Emperor right here. You've been watching them, stalking them, spying on them, trying to get a message out to them. I do see you're going to try to reach out to them. Because we have a divine match right here. The Emperor and the Empress. Clarify the Emperor and the Empress energy. Okay. Four of Swords. Clarify the Four of Swords. Five of Pentacles. Y'all not getting along right now. Um. Yeah, this Empress. Yeah, I don't think this Empress wants to talk to you right now. Y'all not getting along right now. But I see you trying to reconcile, Virgo. Clarify this honeymoon energy for Virgo. The Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. You are stuck. Whew. This is some this is some tough energy that you're dealing with, Virgo. The Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. With the Five of Pentacles at the bottom. And then the Justice at reverse. And I don't even read reverses. Clarify the Eight and Nine of Swords for Virgo. The Seven of Swords. Seven, eight, nine of Swords. What is this that you dealing with, going through, Virgo? This is some tough energy that you are dealing with. You can have air in your chart. You're stuck in your head. You put yourself on autopilot. It's like you literally don't care no more. Put yourself through the furnace. Don't care if you get burned. It's like you're numb if you don't have this person. You just live in your life super numb. This is why this health is here. This is the first thing that came out. You have to honor your mind, your physical vessel that enshrines your soul. But I see you don't, you don't, you just don't care. If you can't be with this person, if you can't have this job or whatever it is that you want so bad, you just don't care anymore. And you don't care how bad it hurts. You don't, you just don't care about life. But you gotta heal, focus on your health, build your self esteem. All right, heart chakra, solar plexus chakra, your identity. Okay, Virgo, I think there are bigger things that you may have to uh, deal with first before this relationship comes in, but I'm just here reading cards. Libra. What's the current energy surrounding Libra? Pride. You can be dealing with the Leo. Okay. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Pride. So I see you're being very analytical, putting a lot of things under review. You can be Virgo Libra cusp. Libra, check out your April 2022 monthly rating as well. But I see when you're like, I love myself and I see myself in everyone, you're wondering, okay, what would I have done in this situation? Would I have acted like that? Would I have said that? Would I have reacted like that? Okay. I also get another, a double story, a double, a double message to this card. Don't let people get passes. Um, don't give nobody no pass, Libra. Fuck that. Because they meant it when they did it. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. So you seeing yourself, trying to find the good in people and all of this extra shit. Don't give nobody no pass. All right. What's coming in for my Libras? What's coming in for Libra? Let your friends help you. Ask for and receive support. Accept the support. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. You love yourself. You're receiving help and love and support from your friends. Ask for help. Accept support from others, your friends or family members. Maybe your coworkers, companions. All right. Maybe you're feeling a little too prideful to ask for help. No. Uh, I know they probably have a lot on their plate. Maybe I shouldn't bother them. Ask for help, Libra. Okay. What's coming in for Libra? Nine 
nine of pentacles beautiful energy so you don't need help in the money department or if you don't have money you feel like you do all right nine of pentacles this is a beautiful energy to be in single stable but maybe you might be wanting um you want more and it's like you see this person i've never got this message from this card but they want more nine of pentacles is a great energy to be in single wonderful handsome beautiful having a lot of money and even though he has this woman in his grasp she's under him she can't get away she's basically giving herself to him but he wants more he's taking her hair her essence like everything i i want more that's what i'm getting so you could want more you have this appetite you have this need or this something since what is this what's that word insatiable and maybe you feel like you can't um it won't subside so maybe you guys are like super 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 horny <laughs> and y'all need to have some sex but it's like you just had sex and it's not working it's not maybe the sex isn't um feeling whatever it is that what it is that you're wanting i don't know what it is that you're wanting um or what it is that you're needing there's some type of void that you're trying to feel and that you may not be able to feel it by having sex that's not um that's not gonna appease you that's not gonna please your appetite ask for help from your friends they might be able to help you we have the ace of swords they might help you figure this out give you some clarity or maybe this is your friend or family member or maybe your mom your mom might even be able to help you if you open up to them, yeah, with the hair thing, your mom, the people who came before you, some type of value, tradition, um, Bible, religion, something like that, okay? What else is coming in for Libra? The Nine of Swords, you've been thinking about it oh, for, for a while. Surprised the devil card didn't come out. Clarify the nine of pentacles for Libra. The empress, your energy. It's you. You want to be in this empress status, but you already are. The nine of pentacles is pre-empress. Then the empress comes out, you. What is it that you could be wanting or needing? You see the page of swords. Maybe you want someone from the past. You want to say something to someone. Six of cups. Six of wands. Here's your emperor right here. You want your emperor. <laughs> you want your emperor. It's like, I just want my emperor. Or I just want this. I just want that. I hear you could be going through some type of temper tantrum or some type of midlife crisis. None of these cards say that, but that's just the energy I'm getting. Sorry for the noise, y'all. Clarify the ace of swords. You need some type of clarity. You feel you feel out in the dark about this. And it's like, how can I be in the dark about this? About myself. The star, you could be dealing with an Aquarius. So you're confused about your feelings for someone. This is supposed to be a singles read, like love coming in, but I'm not getting a look. I'm not per se getting a love type of energy. I do see a divine match right here. Divine feminine, divine masculine, the emperor and the empress. Clarify the hierophant for Libra. We got the knight of wands, three of pentacles, four of cups. I hear, <laughs> I hear you want to try something new in the bedroom and you're like, well, will they think I'm weird for this? Will they think I'm weird that I want this? Will they think I'm weird that this is what I want? This is what I'm craving for? Will, you know, will they give me what I want? Clarify the Nine of Swords. You're really in your head about this. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Putting in the work. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Swords. Two of Wands. It's like, well, where do I find it? You're on some type of quest for something. What is it that what is it that you want, Libra? 
eight of wands you want fun passion communication travel you you want to wrestle with the pig for some reason no, i'm just playing but <laughs> this is the strength card it's a strength card you want to have some fun you've been holding back for so long so i'm seeing as well libra you want someone that matches you sexually as well you feel like you always have to hold back during sex and you want to just let it go let it loose you, you want a Leo. You want someone as strong as you. You want someone to tame you. You want someone to dominate you. It's true, Libra. It's true, okay? The, the cards done already said it. What do you want me to say? Lie to you? You want to be tied up in the bed. BDSM, dominatrix type shit. You want somebody to tame you. You want somebody to tame you, spank you, do all of that shit. You want your emperor in the bed. The empress, the sex goddess wants the sex god, okay? I just want somebody to match my energy. That's what you want, Libra. Ask for help from your friends because ain't nothing wrong with that and there's nothing weird about that, all right? Your friends might be able to help you. Scorpio. What's the current energy surrounding Scorpio? What's the current energy surrounding Scorpio? We have doubt. And we have loneliness that both came out. Okay. I release the need to know all the answers. Maybe you feel like listening to your heart has always got you uh, in the wrong places, wrong situations with the wrong people. I feel like sometimes um, you put your you uh, throw yourself off. You put yourself in a box because you're trying to figure something out. You're trying to figure the answers out. It's some type of need that you have, and it's stopping you from living life. It's stopping you from having fun. It's stopping you from connecting with people. I hear you always put people through these secret tests. I'm gonna say this to see what they respond as. And you get disappointed because why are you putting people to these expectations or standards, especially if they don't even know about them, okay? And we have loneliness. I know that I'm never alone. The current energy surrounding you, you're not alone, okay? You're not. Speak up. Throat chakra, I hear you. The throat chakra. Talk more. Maybe you feel like every time you open your mouth, you always say something wrong or you chase someone away. Get out of your head and get more into your heart. Okay. All right. Spirit is with you, working with you. Asking you to release the need to know all the answers. They want you to know you're not alone. What's coming in for Scorpio? Scorpio, check out your monthly readings, your April monthly reading. Trust. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. So don't doubt it. Trust it. Don't doubt this person. Trust this person. Don't doubt spirit. Trust spirit. You're not alone in this. Okay. This is beautiful. And then we have love yourself first. So Scorpio, how can you love yourself a little more than you did yesterday? What's coming in for Scorpio?
the star could be dealing with an Aquarius healing faith could be dealing with the Virgo with the Hermit card someone who's shy always overthinking just like you King of Pentacles a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn Ten of Cups long term happiness the family's good someone that makes you happy emotionally available children could I find the star for Scorpio the sun beautiful energy you are not alone trust have faith the star represents renewed hope renewed faith healing a wish being granted so i feel like if you want to get pregnant you can if you're trying to have a baby you will these are general messages but i'm talking to that one person okay if you're not already pregnant We have the full card as well, Aries Pisces energy. So we got the star, the sun, and the full. This is a brand new journey. Have, have have some trust. You're not alone. This is a new journey. The fool does take this journey, you know, by itself. He got his, you know, his little sack by it. It's, it's just him and spirit. Okay? You're the only so the reason why you feel lonely is because you're at a turning point in your life. You have to trust that when you take that leap of faith, it's just you. Nobody can take that jump for you. Nobody can take that leap for you. No matter how many times you try to talk to somebody about it, um, you can't, you know, I feel like you're trying to get somebody to just tell you to do it. And I don't think spirit is going to tell somebody to tell you, hey, Scorpio, do this. No, you got to come up with that conclusion on your own. Okay? Just trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith. You are not alone. A lot of people have went through this as well. So don't doubt your journey. Don't doubt all the good things that spirit has for you. Your journey is not the same as everyone else's. You got your own thing that spirit has for you. Clarify the hermit. I keep hearing Pisces. Pisces. I don't know. Who is this? Scorpio. We got the nine of wands. You're... <laughs> You are so doubtful with the hermit card. You got to inspect it. You got to um, inspect it three times over. Double check it. Look at it. Analyze it. Get the review on it. Get the car facts. <laughs> but if you are buying a car, make sure you do get the car facts. So I said that for a reason. But um, not everybody is out to get you. Clarify the nine of wands. The king of cups self-love as well we did see love yourself first i see a cancer pisces or scorpio who has love for you ten of cups king of cups that's enough love to go around so why are you feeling alone i feel like um <laughs> scorpio you could be eccentric i feel like it's your demeanor sometimes that kind of rubs people off the wrong way so if you don't trust them and if you doubt them they feel that do you know how powerful you are you're scorpio for christ's sake you have powers. You have gifts. So if you don't like somebody, if you don't trust somebody, they can feel that. And so they're going to stay away from you. This may be why you're feeling lonely because you're rubbing that energy off on people. Clarify the king of pentacles. You're being too aggressive coming over. You see how aggressive he is being coming over? She's like, no, wait, please. Please, stop. Come here, girl. Okay, but <laughs> it's too aggressive. Damn. Damn. <laughs> too aggressive so maybe you've um just always had this your own feelings about people who people are people are just things people are just objects people are just you know um walking balls of flesh or whatever some shit no people have feelings emotions and things like that I see the three of cups right here. <laughs> Clarify the king of pentacles and the three of cups. I'm getting an underlying energy. It's like underneath the surface, but I, I can feel it. What's going on? Six of cups. You want someone from the past? Or you want to make memories with someone? 
Maybe you're too scared to be in a relationship with someone because you're worried that it's going to end up how it did the last time. Clarify the Ten of Cups. Maybe you're worried that nobody's going to want you because you have kids or because you think you can't have kids. The Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, you're scared that you're going to be single, but you're not. We got the Ten of Cups right here. This is the family. But you're scared that you're going to be single. You are not going to be single for the rest of your life. Ten of Swords, Queen of Swords. You fear that you're going to be single the rest of your life. This is a single woman, hurt, sad, divorced woman with the Queen of Swords. So maybe you're, you were a widow, a widower, or something like that. It's Pisces. That's why I kept saying Pisces right here. Trust your intuition and release the need to know all the answers. Well, when am I going to get married? Well, when am I going to get in a relationship? Well, when am I going to do this? Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Putting your own foot in your mouth. Let spirit work this out for you. Go have some fun. Get out and go to the hairdresser. Go do something. Go walk around the house naked. Go do some moon bathing or something. Like do something you've never done before. Because I see you're just making it harder on yourself. You don't even have to put yourself through all this, all this extra stuff. Who is this? Scorpio? Yeah. Yeah. But you, I do see a relationship coming, especially with the Three of Cups, Six of Cups, Ten of Cups, King of Cups with a water sign. You can be dealing with a Scorpio or a Pisces. Libra, Aries, Pisces, another Scorpio, Leo, Virgo, Aquarius. All right. Sagittarius. to hurry up because I actually have to go somewhere and I was actually trying to make these short but for some reason we're already an hour in. Sagittarius, what's the current energy surrounding you? And also check out your April monthly reading Sag. What's the current energy surrounding Sagittarius? adversity all right something may be a challenge you're facing the challenge in your life maybe this relationship is a challenge i accept that challenges are the best way to learn you feel like you keep hitting your head on the same wall you keep trying and trying and you say that you're going to try it a different way next time but it always ends up being the same way what is it that you may not be learning? Hmm. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. You're wondering why you keep facing challenge. You keep wondering why you keep facing resistance. If you keep facing resistance, you might need to reanalyze the path you're going on because energy goes where energy flows. Where's the energy flowing? If energy is not flowing in this relationship, reanalyze it learn from it it's, if it's a challenge then learn from it if this job or friend or family member a uh, lover is challenging your face with adversity learn from it okay what's coming in for Sagittarius Love yourself first. Okay. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. You want to enjoy the bliss of holiday time with someone, but it's so hard um, dealing with them. It's hard being with them. Whenever they get it, whenever you go out of town with them or go somewhere with them, then they want to start acting all stupid. All right. Um, that was just for some of you, but it says love yourself first, Sag. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So with these challenges and this adversity, remember to always love yourself first. All right. Don't let um, these challenges stop you from loving yourself. What's coming in for Sagittarius? You got a lot. Judgment. You're making a decision. An ending or a new beginning and forgiving. 
King of Swords could be dealing with the Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, a lot of thinking and talking. But with some type of talking and communication, I see an argument, a fight, or just combative energy. Here's the adversity right here. Two opposing opinions. You and someone don't see eye to eye on something. With the hangman, no, you don't see eye to eye on something. There's been a halt, a delay, a sacrifice, needing to look at a different perspective. The hierophant in morals, values, and traditions, or commitment. Somebody wants to wait, give it some time, rethink it, reanalyze it. But your heart, your passion, and probably your penis is telling you to go for it. Go for it. Invest with the King of Pentacles. Invest. All right. So, <sighs> adversity. Challenges is just another opportunity for you to learn. And during this challenge, love yourself first. So maybe I feel spirit is taking you somewhere with this honeymoon. It could just be a regular trip, astral projection, or maybe a dream. Because honeymoon could be any type of travel or trip, mind trip, power trip. Okay, we're going to keep going. But um, clarify judgment it's for Sagittarius. Three of Wands could be dealing with the Leo. Sagittarius, Aries, waiting for ships to come in. So this decision is going to open up opportunities for things to come in. This decision is going to help you turn your back on something as well. Clarify the Three of Wands and the Judgment card. Eight of Swords. It's supposed to help you get out of your head. So first you have to get out of your head, Sag. Clarify the King of Swords and the Five of Wands. The Ten of Cups, it has something to do with your family, stability, long-lasting happiness, or self-love. Because we have love yourself first. So is this the best decision for you? Is this the best decision for your family? Is this the best decision for your dignity, for your dignity and morality? I don't know what happened to my tongue. But yeah, <laughs> clarify the hangman, the hierophant, and the hermit. Hangman, Hierophant, Hermit. Whose name starts with an H? We got three H's right here. Two of Wands, a decision. <sighs> Clarify the Two of Wands. Temperance, you. You. You're making, it's all about you. What you want to do, where you want to go, how you feel about yourself. This adversity is how you, is a self internal type thing clarify the queen of wands this is your energy sag the nine of pentacles you want to be single the empress but you might not can be single two of cups the empress and the two of cups so i'm saying you're grooming yourself preparing yourself to become someone's wife mother clarify the king of pentacles Knight of Wands. Ooh. I see you. You want to be able to go as you please, Sag. You want to be able to drop that dick off and then go. It's something you want to do. You're being met with resistance. What's the adversity for Sagittarius? Knight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Clarify the Knight of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords, the truth. So I'm getting this adversity or this challenge or something like that is self-worth. Because the Pentacles represent stability, money, being grounded. But also the Pentacles is the time, effort, energy, and attention you put into something or someone. So someone is coming to tell you, Sagittarius, you're not giving me enough love or attention. Or Sagittarius is saying, you're not giving me enough love and attention. I don't want to I don't want to feel single in this relationship. Maybe you're too independent to be set to settle down, Sagittarius. And it's just like a where do I go from here? Like, what the fuck is the next step in my life? What's the next phase? We got the four of wands right here at the bottom of the deck, but now you're wondering, analyzing, is this something that I really want? Okay. 
uh, I think it is if you're single and you're watching this reading and you want to be in a relationship because it's for my singles and what's coming in for you. But hey, I could be wrong. All right. This is adversity for my Sagittarius. The wheel. Getting your wheel to turn. Good karma. All the good blessings coming to you. You're being met with resistance because this wheel has to turn. So maybe your mind needs to change. What it is you're doing needs to change. Or you need to stop being so fixated on the outcome. All right. Capricorn. energy surrounding Capricorn. Success. Just like you, Capricorn. But it's lonely at the top, huh? Okay. Current energy surrounding you, Capricorn. Success. I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Do you know that? I feel like the goal that you've been trying to reach wasn't love. What does success look like to you? Does it look like a lot of money? A good job? A good car? A nice home? I know that there is no greater goal than to love. Successful love. Self-love. The love that you share between you and another person or your family your children a successful home dynamic hmm. you want both and we should have both Capricorn we shouldn't have to choose between money or love who, I, who said you had to so you have success okay alright what's coming in for Capricorn Look, we have finances and career at the bottom of the deck. See, th this is the energy I've been getting with money. Do you want success in money? What does success look like to you? That's the energy I've been getting. Either finances and career or the family. Healing family issues. And who said you had to choose? I know I'm not. Like, come on. We're reading these cards today, okay? What's coming in for Capricorn? What's coming in for Capricorn? <sighs> you have romantic feelings for someone. So maybe at first you were just focused on money. But you have feelings for someone. You want to have feelings for someone. You want love. And you're realizing that there's no greater goal than to love. What's the point of all this money? And I have no one loving me. And I'm not loving anyone else either. So... Your feelings are real and worth exploring. These feelings that you have, they're real. They're worth exploring. And give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. You've worked on your money. Work on your partnership. Work on your family, the friend, your friends, your um, children, you know, things like that. Your feelings are real, so work on them. They're worth exploring. Give it a chance. All right? Capricorn. Let me find out you running away from love. What's coming in for Capricorn? The King of Wands. You want passion, sex, communication. You want a Leo with the strength card. You can have Leo in your chart. All right. What's coming in for Capricorn? death there's been an ending a change or a realization mm. Hierophant, the taurus or libra so we have three majors coming out already clarify the king of wands the nine of swords you're stuck in your head about this fire sign how do i move towards them maybe this was a sex only thing and you started having feelings for them clarify the nine of wands and the king of swords 
the three of swords in the tower could have been another person involved maybe you decided to stop talking to this person and focused on work or there was a breakup because someone was stuck in their head and they decided to just break it off to get out of their head nine of swords Clarify strength, and now you're holding back. Clarify strength. The King of Pentacles. You feel like th there may be someone else. We have the King of Swords coming out as well. Three kings. King of Wands, King of Pentacles, King of Swords. <laughs> Clarify strength and the King of Pentacles, please. the sun you want this leo you do you want this leo but maybe you um you weren't you didn't mean to fall in love there are no cups out here but i feel like you did there's something you want that you didn't even know you wanted clarify death Five of Pentacles. Left out in the cold. Clarify death in the Five of Pentacles. The lovers in the moon. So you could actually have someone else. The Ace of Cups. You want them. You want this Leo or this. Or we have Cancer, Pisces, Gemini, Taurus, Libra. Leo, Scorpio. You want them. You want to be in a relationship with them. You're too stuck in your head. Three of swords, nine of swords. I feel like there was something that ended abruptly. You could have ghosted them. They could have ghosted you. But your feelings are real and you're running away from them. Clarify the hairpin. You're scared of commitment. Clarify the hairpin. The knight of swords. Not a good communicator. Clarify the hairpin and the knight of swords. Two of swords. And the Eight of Cups. Yeah, you blocked off from this person. Stop talking to them. Eight of Cups. Emotionally distant. Trying to create some distance. You feel like the more you run, the stronger uh, this, the stronger you feel towards this person. We do have the lovers. So I see. Uh, congratulations, Capricorn. You probably just met your soulmate or your twin flame. <laughs> Ace of Cups. Ready or not, here they come. You're in for a treat. Yeah, you got feelings now. You gonna give this a chance or not? Maybe your um your moral compass was work, finances, career, and now spirit is like, no. Nah, uh, we want to throw in some love and romance too. And Capricorn is like, what? Okay. Aquarius. Love and happiness. Aquarius. What's the current energy surrounding you, Aquarius? I need to blow my nose. What's the current energy surrounding Aquarius? Forgiveness. I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. So you're forgiving yourself, you're forgiving others. Um, Aquarius. So I feel Leo energy, this orange. You keep replaying something over and over and over again in your mind and you won't get enough you won't you you won't be able to rest your mind won't be at ease until you formally forgive and let go i acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love and you're saying my heart is fine there's nothing wrong with me loving i just can't 
uh, it's in my mind. But your, somehow your mind is trickled down to your heart. Now what you thought is actually how you feel and how you feel is exactly what you thought. Okay? I acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flow of love. Forgive yourself. Let it go. Whatever they did, that doesn't determine who you are and who you want to be. I know it hurts. But don't let them continue hurting you for the rest of your life. Okay? What's coming in for Aquarius? What's coming in for Aquarius? Deception. You have not forgiven. It's actually still there. The hurt, the pain, the memories, it's still there. Someone is wearing a false self-mask. You've been living life that you're happy and you're forgiven and you're healed and you're not. Okay? What's coming in for Aquarius? Forgiving and learning. More forgiving. Forgiveness has came out twice. You gotta forgive. As you release the past, heal from the past, you will start experiencing more love in your present moment. But until you release the past and heal from the past, you may not be experiencing love. And that's why it's going to take some time. But what's coming in is so worth waiting for. It is. You're worth waiting for, Aquarius. Yes, you are. So that also means don't let people rush you and don't rush yourself. Don't rush spirit. Don't rush this progress. Because you got to realize and acknowledge some things that you've been harboring, this resentment you've been harboring, how you've been blocking your flow of love. Okay. What's coming in for Aquarius? The Three of Cups, satisfaction. The Four of Wands, a relationship, stability, forgiveness. We got the emperor, it could be an Aries. The emperor could be the empress, so a Taurus. All right, Libra. All right, give me one more. What's coming in for Aquarius? We got the hermit card coming out, could be dealing with a Virgo. The eight of swords, this Virgo that you're stuck on. And then we have the lovers, Gemini. There's somebody you've been stuck on and maybe you've just decided that it's just going to be a sex only thing even though you hate this person, you resent this person. You're going to have to let that dick, that toxic resent dick go. Okay. I'm just telling you now, the tower card. I'm telling you now before spirit creates a tower moment. I'm telling you now, this three of swords. I'm telling you now. All right. You, you have your own life. You make your own decisions. And whatever spirit does in your life is whatever they going to do, regardless if you watch this reading or not. OK, so. Yeah, let's keep going, Aquarius. Clarify the three of cups. The five of cups. There wasn't a reconciliation. There wasn't um, a celebration. There wasn't a reunion. It wasn't. There was supposed to be, but it wasn't. Maybe this is why you're still harboring that resentment. Somebody promised you something and they they, they, uh, they lied, basically. They lied. The promise never came through. There were empty promises. Clarify the Four of Wands. Page of Wands. You still hold a candle of flame for this person. Clarify the Four of Wands and the Page of Wands. The magician go towards the gemini or this fire sign four of wands page of wands the magician you can manifest a new person a new relationship but it's this for unforgiveness and harboring resentment and locking the flow of love it may take some time divine timing is at work in your love life all in the right time aquarius clarify the emperor 
The emperor is already out. Where are you, Aquarius? I know I saw something. Yeah. The four of swords. You rest and you want to take some time out. Here's that timing as well. Maybe you just got to take some time out to heal. Clarify the emperor and the four of swords for Aquarius. The Ace of Cups, ready for new love. Once this healing has happened, maybe you and your person might need some healing. This don't, I don't think this is a past person. I don't think it is. I feel like it's a new person. But I feel like you and your new person are mirroring each other and y'all haven't even met yet. Both of you probably need to heal. Both of you are probably harboring resentment from the past. Both of you probably need to forgive and forgive your family and learn and have divine timing at work in your love life. Because I feel like you're stuck on someone with the Hermit and the Eight of Swords. You're stuck on someone. You don't even want to date if it's not this person. I feel like you have a grudge against the universe. Spirit, you said this was my person. You said this was going to work. I wanted this to work. Judge me. Yeah, I'm not lying, bro. This is what you're saying. Spirit, you said this was going to work. I put on, I put in so much time, energy, and attention in this person. I put in so much work and magic into this person. This was supposed to be my person. And Spirit was like, nah, that was just a lesson, fam. This was supposed to just be some fun. Spirit was like, you were supposed to learn how to love yourself, fam. We gave you all the answers. Clarify the tower. Clarify the tower for Aquarius. The chariot. Once this thing ends, once you let this go, do you know how fast your life is going to start moving forward? And then we have the judgment card with the magician. You, you are, The crazy thing is, is you've already manifested your new person. You just ain't let your manifestation work for you. It's like your manifestation is stuck in the atmosphere and it hasn't been released yet i don't know why okay there's nothing left for you to do except forgive and learn and heal and let go of that resentment so you can have some fun live your life learn from the past Pisces. energy surrounding Pisces what's the current energy surrounding Pisces self-esteem I possess gifts of the spirit that benefit me and others so you are you are smart you are beautiful. You are important. You are intelligent. What's coming in for Pisces? Release your ex, all right? What's coming in for Pisces? Thank you. Flirt. Go ahead and flirt. You are smart enough to flirt. You're beautiful enough to flirt. You're intelligent. You're important enough to flirt. Have you some fun and keep an open mind, okay? Pisces, don't nobody care that you're a little thick? Don't nobody care that you're a little petite? Don't nobody care that if you're short or tall? Get your ass out there and flirt. Because you sexy. Self-esteem. You the baddest motherfucker walking, Pisces. What's coming in for Pisces? I hear somebody's boosting you. Let them boost you. Two of swords. You like, nah, not me. They trying to give you flowers and candy, tell you how gorgeous you are or how handsome you are. Nah, not me. Yes, you. 
Yes, you. Let me smother you with love. Let me kiss your feet. Let me worship you. Oh, I like that. King of Cups. Yeah, yeah, baby. Yes, let me give you this love. The lovers. Yes, come get this good loving. Yes. Clarify the Two of Swords. Could be dealing with the Libra. You trying to resist this. Six of Swords. Ain't no resisting. They pinned you. They pinned you. They gonna get you. Exactly where they want you. Clarify the world for Pisces. The wheel. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, this person already got you where they want you, Pisces. <laughs> I don't care if you haven't even met them yet. I don't even care if you single still. They got you where they want you, Pisces. Because trust me, when they come in, ain't no getting out of this. Ain't no getting out of this. The wheel and the world. They already got you where they want you. Wink at them. Look at them. Say one word to them. They got you. Clarify the king of cups. Could be dealing with the Scorpio. Yeah, big change. Clarify the lovers. The page of wands. This person is fun, flirtatious, nine of cups, wish fulfillment. You can't get enough of them. Ace of pentacles. You won't be able to get enough of them. They got you. You sprung. You theirs now as well. And I feel like this, I feel like this makes you feel really good. Not belonging to someone, but they're like, you mine. You're mine. And I'm yours. You like that. That's what I hear this person saying. It's going to help you boost your self-esteem. So all while you guys are dating, they're going to continuously flirt with you. Who's that sexy ass girl? Who's that sexy ass dude? How you doing, baby? Hey, sexy. Hey, gorgeous. You are beautiful, you are smart, you are intelligent, you are important, and that's exactly how this person makes you feel because you build your self-esteem as well. High self-esteem. Go ahead and flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others because it's coming back to you. Beautiful. Damn. You could be dealing with a Libra, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. Scorpio, Sagittarius, any fixed sign, Gemini, Virgo. Yeah. That's all I have for you, Pisces. Beautiful energy. I'm going to pull a message for the collective and we will be out of here. So, collective. Spirit, can you give me a message for my collective, please? trust trust in your own magic and trust in the magic of the universe all right trust that everything is going to turn out exactly how it should and relax relax collective relax get you some more rest get you some more sleep trust in the magic what the intentions and manifestations that you want to happen, trust that they will happen for the good of all. I don't know what type of shit y'all been doing, but I'm just saying. No harm to none, okay? Give me a message for my collective, please. The magician has came out. Trust in the magic. Y'all saw that. Trust in the magic. Okay? Gemini season could be very important for you guys as well. This is beautiful. Personal power. All the elements. Time, energy, attention as well. Um, intentions. Good intentions. Trust that it's all going to work out. You can relax now. You can breathe now. <sighs> That's all I have for you guys. So thank you so much for coming back to my channel. You can like, share, subscribe, leave me a comment, leave me a love donation. That will really help me since I'm not working. You can book a personal reading with me. And until I see you guys again, 
please check out all of your um april monthly readings check out all of the all signs readings you can check the description box there's a link to donate as well and i'll see you guys later Bye bye